Welcome to another short tutorial using the NNXT sampler in Reason. I'm Dan Helford and this time we'll be looking at envelopes. Okay. The envelope section of the NNXT is uh, down in the bottom right hand corner of the expanded editor here and this is the amp env envelope. Along to the left slightly beyond the filter and pitch there is the modulation envelope. Yeah, and we'll be looking at both in this tutorial. Before we listen to the effect of some envelopes in the NNXT, some theory. An envelope is a changing amplitude against time, so it could be plotted on this graph, amplitude, time, uh, there. So starting from zero time, when a sound occurs, it takes a certain length of time to reach its fullest, loudest volume before it falls back to a level at which it will sustain. So there's the maximum amplitude there. Then the sound will sustain at a certain level for a length of time until a point where you either take your finger off the key or if it's a real instrument you stop performing the note, at which time the note will take a certain length of time to decay or to release. So. There are four main stages to an envelope of a sound. The first one is a time value here uh, for the attack time. So that's called attack. And the second is also a time value, which is the amount of time taken from the sound to decay from its loudest value that it reaches to the level that it's sustained at. And that's called the decay. This level here is called the sustain level. Um, and that's the level at which the sound is held continuously until the key is released or the instrument is stopped being played and after which point there's another time value here which is the release time so this is a four stage envelope known as the ADSR or attack decay sustain and release envelope okay so back to the NNXT and we'll put this into practice I've uh, got the rooster sample with a little loop running near the beginning of it uh, so if I held down the C3 key, we can hear. There we are. So it comes in quickly. It sustains for as long as I hold the key down, and it decays immediately as I as I release my finger from the key. So um, let's have a look at changing the amplitude envelope to affect how that works against time. So let's just have a quick look in here. So at the moment you can see that the values of the envelope are at their default position and we can see that they're labeled attack, decay, sustain and release. Hold is an additional value that have been um, added in by the makers of Reason uh, so it makes it actually a five stage envelope instead of the four stage, uh, the standard four stage envelope and hold is simply a, a plateau period between um, the end of the attack segment and the beginning of the de decay segment so it's like an extra time value in there uh, whilst the sample is held at its loudest value. So let's start by looking at the most useful of um, the envelope parameters for this kind of assignment which is that of release. So at the moment you can see that it's 60 milliseconds so it's extremely quick release time so if we set that up to about um, a second and a half or two seconds let's have about two seconds just over two seconds there zoom out again for you and then if I play and uh, hold the C3 you can hear the loop and then I'll tell you when I take my finger off the key and you can hear how it decays over two seconds uh, in the release section so let's do that so it's into the loop and I take my finger off the key now and there we are it decays over that two seconds uh, or so which it takes to decay away. Okay so I can also use the attack time, let's bring the attack time up to you know let's say four seconds um, so you'll now hear a fade in at the beginning of the sample as it takes four seconds to reach its full amplitude. and then just over two seconds for it to fade away again. And of course we can set the sustain level a bit quieter if we want. So 
to hurt there. It went up, reached full amplitude, decayed extremely quickly, um, less than half a second. Um, oh, so just over half a second to decay down to a, a quite a quiet sustain level. So if I just make that a little, little higher, like a second, the decay level, so it'll go up in four seconds, down in a second, then it will sustain at a level minus 11 dB from its original, and then take uh, two, 2.26 seconds to decay, so just over two seconds to decay. So you can hear all four stages of the envelope working now. Attack. Decay, sustain, and release. Okay, so that's interesting and useful. But the envelope, um, as you can see in the NNXT, we have two envelopes the amplitude envelope, amp envelope, which is down here, but just across here, modulation envelope, which is a slightly different thing. Uh, it still produces an envelope uh, type. Uh, control signal so with an attack, a hold, a decay, a sustain and release phase to it. Uh, but instead of controlling the amplitude of the sample, it can be assigned to control uh, two particular parameters and they are pitch and filter. And we can see here the pitch and filter controls in the modulation envelope box out. Now when say for example pitch is given some value in the uh, right hand direction so the right hand ring of LEDs is um, illuminated as the uh, value of the envelope changes up and down so the value of the pitch will change up and down and with a right hand uh, ring of LEDs it gives a positive co correlation i.e. when the modulation envelope value is rising the pitch is rising and when it's falling the pitch is falling that's positive correlation the negative correlation is achieved by creating a left hand uh, collar of LEDs um, and that's obviously when the value of the envelope is rising the value of the pitch is falling so the pitch is decreasing so let's give a positive value to that pitch there um, and let's just demonstrate um, with an attack time a long attack time let's say four seconds uh, just zoom out here you'll now hear the pitch rising over four seconds from the start of the note. And obviously there it, uh, it decays and then release, you can hear the amplitude envelope releasing exactly as we did before. So that's a positive correlation. I won't go too far into the uh, modulation envelope because I think it's it's fairly self-explanatory once I've demonstrated this. So there's the attack, um, decay, sustain and release of, of at the moment pitch and also filter can be assigned with a positive and negative correlation as well. If I just demonstrate a negative correlation so as the attack time rises over four seconds the pitch will actually fall over this corresponding four seconds. As you can hear there. And then as the envelope uh, falls back down, the pitch uh, rises up to its uh, correct original pitch again. So that's a way you can vary pitch against time and also filter parameters against time. And we'll look at filters in another tutorial. So there we go, amplitude envelope and modulation envelope.